Now back to Inside West Virginia Politics with Mark Curtis. Welcome back to Inside West Virginia Politics. We are continuing our discussion of the First Lady's visit to Huntington, her second ever visit. And of course, we are bringing in Mayor Steve Williams. Thank you so much for being here with us. Thanks for including me. And how exciting is it for your city to have any representative from the White House, let alone the First Lady, come? For the First Lady to come in for the second time speaks volumes. It's a compliment to the city, um, but more importantly than that, it allows us to help get our message out across the country because we're so sick and tired of being called the epicenter of the opioid epidemic. And we're able to demonstrate that we're actually the epicenter of the solution to the opioid epidemic. And you could see in that roundtable group that we had a pretty powerful group sitting there and what folks have done in Huntington really is setting a standard for the rest of the nation. So. It's very exciting to have the First Lady and the Acting Secretary of Homeland Security to come in. And obviously they were here for that round table. Like you said, a lot of powerful figures going around there. What would you say were some of the highlights of that round table? Because you were sitting on it as well. What stood out most to me was how engaged the First Lady was. And uh, she's made it quite clear that her concern is how Babies are being affected, children are being affected. She was listening. Uh, she wasn't taking notes, but her questions were so detailed, and she'd want to know details about how children were being affected. And frankly, she helped unveil, uh, uncover something that I think an area where we have missed, because our quick response team, known as QRT, has been so effective uh, but she was asking as, ma as many people as we're getting into treatment programs out of that, because for those who don't, aren't familiar with what the QRT program is, 24 to 72 hours after an overdose, we have a team that comes in and offers to help get that person help. And she asked, well, to what level are you able to help the children? And frankly, our response was is that we haven't had the opportunity in our follow-up visit to encounter the children. That tells me that once again, there's another evolution that we have to take in our efforts here to, to assure that what we're doing is helping children. There's a Handle With Care program that has been in place for a few years, and that was explained uh, uh, extensively. But to listen to the First Lady in the, in the preciseness of her questions um, was encouraging. And, um, and frankly, uh, it, it touched the heart too because you knew just where she was coming from. And she has really focused on how children are affected and how babies have been affected by the opioid crisis. Obviously, her first visit to Huntington was to Lily's place. Yeah. Now, after the round table, she was able to meet with a mother who had been addicted to drugs and now got help from Lily's place and now Hope's place. How much do you think it helps the first lady and anybody in Washington who comes and meets with those people who are dealing with this crisis every single day of their lives. I was at the White House about a year ago and heard her speak about the Be Best program that she was un unveiling. To see her also speaking with that mother um, showed the compassion that she had. First Lady said to me as we were, as we were leaving, she said, we have, we have to address the stigma that's associated with this disease. What's, what was amazing with that young mother, you would never dream that she would have been fighting addiction just months uh, b before. And with her child, um, it, it helps you understand that we are on the right side of, of this and trying to do everything that we can to save people's lives because that, that places them in society in such a way that they really are advancing society, advancing not only their life but, but part of everything that, that we're doing. We can't give up on, on these people and I think that was just a central message that First Lady was delivering. So quickly, we're running out of time, less than 30 seconds left, but what do you want the First Lady going back to D.C. and telling her husband about Huntington and what they're doing here? What I asked her, I said, tell your husband, tell anybody who could listen that uh, if they're wanting to know how to be able to attack this, the Huntington model works. 
All right, thank you so much, Mayor Steve Williams. Thank you for being here. Thanks for having me. We're going to have much more Inside West Virginia politics coming up next.